State fish biologist Jim Olson has dual responsibilities to conserve Montana's native fish like cutthroat trout and also provide angling opportunities for non-native fish like brook and brown trout. I'd say it balances pretty well with what, you know, what our management goal is of trying to manage 80% of our habitat for non-natives. That's probably where I spend 80% of my time and then 20% then is spent on, on this native fish restoration work. So Olson was surprised this year by opposition to a native fish restoration project on one of the tributaries to the Big Hole River. I got called all sorts of names and that sort of thing this year, you know, and you hate brook trout, you hate brown trout, and it's like, that's not, that's not the case at all. Brook trout and brown trout are always going to be our bread and butter management species, but we're losing our native fish. Our cutthroat are just disappearing, and uh, if we don't do something, they're going to disappear completely. In fact, Montana State Fish, the West Slope cutthroat trout, occupies less than 10% of its entire historic range. And in the Big Hole watershed, there are only a few places left to catch one. If mule deer were in, only in 6% of where they used to be, people would be popping a cork. You know, they'd be just all excited and willing to do whatever it took to restore mule deer. But for some reason, cutthroat don't bring that same public support with them. Even through this lack of support, Fish managers know by conserving Montana's native fish, they will also create a unique angling experience. You can go anywhere in the world and catch a brown trout or a rainbow trout. There's only one spot in the whole world where you can go and catch West Slope cutthroat, and that's here and in a couple neighboring states. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.